Hi there, and let's get right to it. Once you're done working on your project, that is to say, you've finished editing, color grading, and compositing your project, it's now time to finally step into the Deliver page and render it out. There's a few differences in the sort of output you'll end up with, but the workflow is almost always the same, and it's based on the construction of the page. When using this page, you can render your project and output it to tape, or export it digitally. It also allows the queuing of jobs, which means that you can export many versions of your project based on different resolutions, different versions of the grades, and different portions of the timeline. The layout of the page is similar to others in the sense that it has an interface toolbar at the top, which allows you to expand and contract the various panels, as well as to collapse panels that you're not using. Underneath that, on the left-hand side, you have the render settings. This is arguably the most important window. This is where you're going to customize how your media is rendered out in terms of quality, codec, file type, and many other criteria. Additionally, you have access to advanced settings that will really allow you to fine-tune your final output. At the top of the render settings are a series of presets for common workflows, as well as where your presets are going to go once you generate them. Next to that, you have the viewer, which displays exactly how your video will look upon render. So if any of your effects or color grades aren't showing up in this viewer, you better go back to the color page and fix them up. Underneath that, you have the delivery page timeline, which mirrors exactly the timeline that you have on the color page. Here you'll have the ability to indicate exactly which portion of the timeline you want to export, or if you want to render out the whole thing. And lastly, in the top right hand corner, we have the render queue. This will list all of the jobs queued for file-based rendering. These jobs can come from different timelines and even projects. Once the list has been created, you can start the render and output them as a single batch. Afterwards, you'll be able to find these video files on your computer in the location that you specify. The next couple of videos will look much more closely at the render settings and render queue windows. Thank you for watching, and until next time.